Hello everyone, my name is JP Yepes from Quito, Ecuador. This is my presentation for week one of the Introduction to Music Production class. We're going to talk about audio recording and the signal flow. As a general idea, we are trying to capture sound coming from a source such as a narrator, singer, or instrumentalist. Then we will send what we have recorded to a computer so it can be manipulated and perfected. Finally, it will be played back in our headphones, monitors, or speakers. It all sounds very simple, but there are a few elements we should consider before jumping into this. Throughout this presentation, we will discuss hardware and connections, the signal flow and gain stages, and at the end, we will take a look at a few examples from the setup I usually work with. Let's get started. First of all, we will find sound as pressure variations in the air which will be captured by our microphone. This microphone will act as an input transducer, which simply means that it will transform the pressure variations into a low-level audio signal or voltage variations that will be sent to the rest of our equipment using an XLR cable. This is a balanced cable and avoids interference and external noise. Next, what we want to do is to send this information to our computer. However, we can't just send this voltage variation straight in, because computers will not be able to understand them. This is where we will use an audio interface to transform the signal a bit more. Let's take a closer look. Our audio interface will use a microphone preamplifier to transform the low-level audio signal into a line-level signal which will be strong enough to be manipulated by other devices. After that, the analog to digital converter will change the signal again, but into binary information or series of zeros and ones which the computer can actually understand. Then, this will be transmitted by a USB or firewire cable. So this audio interface has allowed us to get the audio information to our computer, and this is where the fun begins. Using our DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation, we will be able to work through different stages of the production process. The production stage includes performing and recording, and this is basically where we get the music material that we're going to work with. The post-production stage, on the other hand, includes editing, mixing, and mastering. This is where we fine-tune our project and where we prepare it to be released or published. If we are to work properly, we will need to monitor and listen to what we're doing constantly. Our computer will send the signal and any changes we have made back to the audio interface, and a very similar process begins so we can transform the audio signal into sound again. In this final stages, the digital to analog converter inside the audio interface will transform the binary information into a line level signal once again, which will be sent to an amplifier through an audio cable. This amplifier will turn the signal into a high level audio signal which will be strong enough to drive headphones and loudspeakers. Finally, the speakers will convert the audio signal into pressure variations in the air. To wrap this up, let's take a look at a few examples of equipment in this type of setup. First of all, our Audio-Technica AT2020, a condenser microphone. Next, I would also like to mention the Shure SM58, a dynamic microphone. These microphones will capture the audio and then they will send it to our Presonus Live Studio 1642. This is a digital audio sound mixer, which also happens to be an audio interface. And finally, the M Audio Studio File BX8A monitors. These are active monitors, which means we won't need an external amplifier to supply power. These are essential when monitoring and mixing our projects. As we mentioned earlier, the computer will send the signal back to the audio interface so it can transmit it to the monitors. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this to be a meaningful learning experience. Created using Powtoon.